hello there welcome to yet another opportunity so in today's video we'll be looking at funding opportunities in canada for undergraduate and graduate students so if you're looking to start your bachelor's your master's or phd in canada this video is for you and today we'll be looking at how you can get funding to achieve these dreams so um canada is one of the preferred locations for students um, well, because Canada is very beautiful, there are a lot of opportunities and education in Canada is also world class. If today is your first time seeing my videos or you haven't subscribed, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss future opportunities. In this channel, I basically bring out opportunities for scholarships and funding as well as financial opportunities to help make you achieve your dreams. Also check out previous videos for the DART scholarship, for the Erasmus Modus scholarship and a lot of other scholarships in my channel. So for today's video, we are looking at funding opportunities at the University of Saskatchewan, which is in Canada. And without wasting much time, let's get started. First, a quick breakdown of what you are going to learn from this video. First, I'm going to show you how to know if you do not require IETS or TOEFL. And then we're going to look at undergraduate scholarship eligibility and how you can apply and then thirdly uh, we are going to look at the graduate scholarship how to apply and also how to contact a supervisor at the university of Sachs. so feel free to skip to the part that relates to you and also share this video to your friends and family and do not forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel to get future updates okay so let's get started without wasting any more time okay um firstly i want to show you how you can know if you do require ietes or you don't so i'm already here at the university of sacks um official website as you can see here and i'm just going to um, click on those um english language proficiency requirement so that will take us down to what it's needed anyway um regardless of what is here you also have to check for the specific course that you are applying to they may have um, higher requirements or lower or just the same so you can see right here um, proof of english proficiency may be demonstrated through one of the following so here are the two ways let's look at the second one first before we look at the first one okay so meeting the minimum score requirement for one of the following language tests will be sufficient so you can see the language test here TOEFL um, you can see IETS, you can see different tests. One interesting thing is the last one here, which is the Duolingo English test. So if you have a score of 110 or better, then it is sufficient. So the Duolingo English test is a very um, cheap English test, um, costs very few um, dollars and you'll be able to write this and it's even online. So that is very interesting. But now, even more interesting, let's look at the upper requirements, the first requirement. A minimum of three um, consecutive years of full-time study or completion of a graduate degree at a recognized post-secondary institution where the exclusive language of instruction is English will be eligible. So let's look at the eligible institutions right here. So I'm going to click on that. And then you can see English proficiency not required, as you can see right here. So let's look at how you can now determine if you do not require to submit um, the IETS score or any English test score. Eligibility for exemption. So you are going to be eligible for exemption if your university is found in this website. You can see the website here. So you can read through, but um, I'm just going to go ahead. So once you go to this website, um, whed.net, as you can see from the university website, once you go there, you search for your institution. And if it is part of the, if you can find it there, then it means you do not need to submit an English test um, score. So I'll just do an example, go to the website. Okay, so I'm right here at the International Association of universities website and all you need to do is to search for your university on this website so um, if you come to the right hand corner here you're going to enter your um, country so i'm going to select nigeria and then you're going to um, type in your university so i'm going to enter university of lagos 
then all you need to do is to search if the name of a university comes up then you do not need to submit the english um, test certificate so you can see right here you can see university of lagos so it's part of um, it and there's also university uh, lagos state university lasso um university of lagos is there so i do not need you can click on the name of the institution to see more details about it you can see if you come down here the language is english so um, the university of sax recognized graduates of such universities as being proficient in english and you don't have to submit um, english test uh, so you can also check out my video um, on my youtube channel where i talked about more than 60 universities in usa and canada where you can study it at um, writing ietes or tofu so you want to check out that video so you can get more universities to apply to in canada and usa without ietes or tofu now let's get back to the business of the day so let's get started with the undergraduate scholarship i'm right here on my website obnestnanja.com and i'm going to drop all the links uh, for the official web page on this post just scroll down below this post you are going to find all the links i'm going to be dropping or looking at in this video so before we go to the undergraduate scholarship let's look at the general eligibility so we're going to look at that right here so for you to be eligible for this scholarship you must be an international student and you must have a bachelor's degree to be eligible for master's degree and you must have a, a college degree to get a scholarship in the bachelor's and i've already talked about the IETS requirements but if you have written IETS, it is very good and however if you haven't and it is required for you um, you can write the duolingo language test which costs about 50 dollars and you receive the results in two to five days which is very cool so now let's get into the undergraduate studies um, is the website for the undergraduate studies and the undergraduate scholarship at the university of sax um, but before we look at the scholarships let's take a look at the programs that are offered so i'm going to click on the programs tab and uh, click on find the program i'm just taking you through i'm just taking you through the different programs that i found here so you can see different programs by teams you can also see them as, um, arranged alphabetically so you can scroll through and find the program so um, for you to get specific requirements for a particular program you can click on them right now i'm going to click on computer science so this takes me to the computer science page um, i can get more information about the computer science i'm going to click on admission requirements at the left corner and it takes me down you can see the deadline for application for international students you can see right here um february 1st 2022 uh, you can also check other requirements i can go down to check the english requirements for undergraduate students so you can see the english proficiency um, you have to uh, if your first language is not english you may have to prove proficiency in english before admission so you can see different method ietes tofu and also interestingly um, if you do not meet this course you can also be admitted if you enroll in our language preparation programs offered through the u and s language center so that is also a, a plus okay i'm going to go back to the scholarship okay back to the scholarship for undergraduate students um we're going to look at them one after the other there are different types of scholarships which have different values one of them is the best and brightest entrance scholarship so the best and brightest entrance scholarship um has a deadline of december 15th so you have to first of all apply for admission by december 1st as you can see here and then you must submit your application for the scholarship by december 15th so i'm going to talk about more of how to apply to this um, scholarship so there are different categories of best and brightest entrance scholarships and you can see here the george and masha ivanin uh, president first and best scholarship which is valued at forty thousand dollars 
and um, you can see the Chelsea Law Scholarship valued at thirty thousand dollars, and you can see the U and U of S Interest Scholarship valued at twenty four dollars, uh, twenty four thousand dollars. So there are a lot of other scholarships right here you can look through. Now, how do you apply? You first of all have to apply for admission by December first, and then you're going to be sent an email. You're going to check your email for your um, login details. Then you are going to submit your scholarship application by December 15th. Okay, so um, there's the application portal. We're going to look at that very soon. And then there's also a portal to submit your scholarship application. We're going to look at both of them very soon. But here yeah, there are other scholarships, competitive entrance award for undergraduate. You can also take a look at that. And it has a different um, deadline. So you have to apply for admission for this particular scholarship by 15th of February and then you have to apply for the scholarship by March 1st as you can see here. So another um, category of scholarship is the International Student Award. Now you can see the values and then you can also check out the deadlines. Now let's look at how you can apply for admission and also how you can submit your scholarship application. Okay. So I'm going to come up to this website at the top here. You can see admission. So click on how to apply. So it is very easy. First of all, you need to find the program. Once you've gotten the program you want to apply for, you check the requirement, you meet the requirement, and then you click on apply here. So all these links you are going to get on my website, just at the, um, below the post. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is to create uh, your account. So create, you click on create account, you fill in the form and submit it. So once you have done that, then you will have your login details and then you can come back to login into the admission portal and then complete your admission and submit it. So this is just for your admission. So once you are done with the admission, I'm going to go back to show you how to submit your scholarship application. So just on the um, undergraduate website, I'm going to um, show you how to submit your scholarship application. The scholarship application is submitted through the Pounds portal. So if you see up here, you see something like um, PAWS or if we go to any of the scholarships you can also get a link to the pounds website from any of the scholarships so you can see right here so i'm going to click on pounds here it takes me to the pounds portal where you can submit your scholarship application so once you have applied for admission you're going to get your nsid um, pin so you can always log into this portal with that and then submit um your part your the scholarship you think you are eligible for on this portal so that is for undergraduates and i hope you um, got something from this video if so kindly hit the like button if you are not subscribed kindly hit on the subscribe button so that you see my future updates because there are a lot of opportunities that are going to be coming up uh, you don't want to miss them so kindly hit the like button subscribe and turn on the bell notification you can also drop your comments if you have any question now it is time for the graduate studies so if you're looking for a master's degree or a phd now it is your time so kindly hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to stay updated okay the first thing we want to do i'm already on the website of um, the university so i'm just going to scroll down for you to see the programs available so you can see master programs and you can see PhD. So you can see the courses if they have a PhD, if they don't have a PhD, they have a master's and uh, so on. So you can see right here, there are different courses. Um, definitely you're gonna find a course that interests you. There's law, there's music, a lot of courses right here. Okay, so you can scroll down to get all the courses and you can click on any course to get more details about a very course you can get specific requirements for a particular course uh the user so i'm going to click on accounting okay let's use the first one right there 
you can see right here uh, we can look at um, the admission requirements for this program um, you can read through there's a language requirement I've already talked about um, English proficiency so I'm not going to spend more time on that but it is very important to read through to see what is needed and if you are eligible from what is um, written on the official website so that is important for you I'm going to go back right now so in course of this video I'm going to teach you how you can search and find a supervisor because for a graduate program you might need a supervisor so but before then let's go to funding let's see what we can get in funding so I'm going to go to um, international scholarship so I'm going to drop the link to this page on my website so you go to the post you scroll down and then you're going to get the link to this very page okay now this is the international award um you can see right here international students are eligible for many university-wide and national award competition um but before i go back to this i want to quickly look at the country specific scholarships so there are different scholarships as you can see right here for different for these specific countries brazil chile um china colombia you can see mexico you can see panama um peru uruguay so uh the different countries right here and there are scholarships that are peculiar to these countries so we're going to look at one so let me click on brazil so you can see what this scholarship is all about you can get for master's students um, number of selected applicants unlimited um, for phd students unlimited so let's see how to apply you have to find the program then follow the steps to apply for admission then you contact the student recruitment officer um, of your intention to apply for this particular scholarship so you can continue from there so you have to read through and application are open from january um, 2021 so in this case it will be january 2022 um, okay so let's see the cost uh, what it covers um, it covers your uh, cost of living monthly allowance in accordance with um, its norms up to um, four years for phd and two years for masters okay so it also covers your tuition um, tuition cost um, covered for up to four years for phd students and two years for masters but however if um, your country is not part of these countries um, you don't have to worry because i have something for you so I'm going to click on this link up here. Um, international students are eligible for many university-wide and national award competition. So coming up here, we're going to look at different um, scholarships that you are eligible to apply for. Okay, so um, the first one is um, the Dean's Scholarship. So there are different scholarships and each scholarship have different categories. Okay, so um, the Dean Scholarship is valued at $18,000 um, for master's students and $22,000 um, per year for doctoral students. And you can see more. Well, I'm going to click on the Learn More button just under the scholarship um, to see more about this scholarship. So you're going to get the read date um, of, the, of the scholarship, the deadlines. So you can see right here. Now, the, to be eligible for this scholarship, you must have um, an entrance GPA of at least 85% and you must show proof of research productivity. Um, that would be like in publication, at least one publication or one presentation will be enough. So you must have applied for a master's thesis or doctorate um, graduate program at the University of Sachs and must be starting your graduate program in either January 2022 or May or in September. So let's see how do you apply to this scholarship. Um, first of all, you have to fill in a, a survey online. Um, so you have to log into the survey mocking um, site using your NSID, which means that you must have applied for admission uh, for you to have the NSID. 
okay so i'm going to click on it right now it is scholarship is not currently opened so you might not have um, any information but let's see what comes up so you can see um, that the survey is currently closed and we open the survey we open uh, for application monday january 3rd 2022 okay so that is when the, the application starts so i'm going to go back so let's see what you need to do so so filling the survey monkey form you have to complete the information requested under the dean scholarship nomination package student information so here the students will enter their information um their um, presentation or publication record so uh, as well you must sign um, a student declaration form so fill the survey marking form sign the student declaration form confirming that they have not knowingly published through predatory open access um, journals or publishing method so the student declaration form must then be forwarded along with a list of publication and presentation to the unit and signed by the prospective supervisor or graduate chair so it means that you need to contact a supervisor um, for you to have a prospective supervisor so i'm going to show you how to do that just after this part so i'm going to show you how you can contact a supervisor at the university of Sachs. okay now the nominated students have to uh, provide photocopies of official transcript from all the attended post-secondary institutions so you just have to read through this it's very easy to understand so you have to submit this to um, your nominating unit which will be your department or your supervisor so you have to confirm from your supervisor now what happens next is that the nominating unit will complete the college or school nomination for dean scholarship form and forward it by email to the graduate studies so that is all you need to do just read through and if you have any questions you can send to this email right here um, the grad for the graduate studies and you can also drop a uh, comment to let me know what you are doing so i'm going to go back now and look at other scholarships for graduate studies before we look at how to get a supervisor okay so we have looked at the dean's scholarship uh, then um, there are other scholarships you can also apply to like the graduate award so you can check it out you can look at um, it's valued at sixteen thousand um, dollars for masters and twenty thousand dollars for phd up to three years okay you can click on the learn more button to know more about that scholarship you also have a teacher scholar doctoral fellowship you can click on the learn more button to know more about that scholarship and you also have university of Sachs graduate teaching fellowship you can click on the learn more button to know more and the university of um, Sachs graduate teaching assistantship so the learn more button is always there and there are other scholarships you can also look at okay now we're going to learn how to contact the supervisor i'm just going to slide up and then you're going to click on programs and then there you will see find a program and then find a supervisor okay so um, i'm going to click on find a supervisor so it is very easy so on this page find a supervisor you just have to enter the course you want to study uh, for example um, pathology just going to put that there okay and hit on the search button and it's going to come up with a um, list of supervisors then i can click on the supervisor and check so these are supervisors for pathology uh, i'm going to click on the name and then you're going to see an email address you can also check out the website and make sure you um, understand um, the work of a particular supervisor before you send a code email uh, you must know what the supervisor is doing you must have read some of their publications so that you can construct a very catchy code email which you send to them requesting them to be your supervisor okay so how do you apply to this scholarship so first of all you have to apply for admission contact supervisor and then apply for admission you can go to programs or find the course and then apply for admission through the portal for um 
admission then you're going to have the nsid number then you can use that to log in here and apply for a scholarship so if you like this video so far kindly hit the like button and if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification so you don't miss my next opportunity and that will be it for this video see you in my next video ciao